Do you watch porn? If you answered yes, then listen in. I have an uncomfortable story to share with you. For four years, I felt like shit. Low energy, low motivation, low sex drive, you name it. I'd often find myself googling morbid questions like, what's the point of existing? And why don't I feel any emotion? I'd cry to my girlfriend for no reason, I suffered from performance anxiety in the bedroom, and I couldn't remember the last time I genuinely felt excited about something. I'm talking the kind of excitement you feel when you're 10 years old on Christmas Eve. You cannot fucking wait to bust open that present and claim your brand new deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But of course, like most people, I put on a mask. I didn't realize how much I'd fucked up my dopamine reward system until I quit masturbation and porn for 90 days. This is my NoFap success story. I was seven years old and I remember that my school had just got internet access, it was super cool. So I went into the computer room at lunchtime to play some games on the internet. Long story short, my curiosity got the better of me, and I ended up typing in TINS in Google image search. I peered around the room to make sure no one was watching, and then I replaced the N with a T and hit enter. At that precise moment, the lunch bell rang and without thinking, I fucking, I, I blitzed out of the room. <laughs> I blitzed out of the room and left a handful of explicit imagery for my for my poor computer teacher to see. So after lunch, he came into my classroom in a panic and told my teacher that the internet would be banned at lunch times forever. So yeah, I only truly started watching porn at age 14, when one day I was in the bathtub and one thing led to another and I discovered that my private parts could shoot out this weird gooey stuff. Anyway, that's probably too much detail. We'll go on. I'd watch it occasionally in my teen years, you know, discreetly under my blankets, in the bathroom, or at an undisclosed location. So from ages 17 through to 20 is when it amped up. If I averaged it out, I probably only watch porn maybe once a week, but I masturbated much more than I watched porn, especially if I was bored or was experiencing some kind of emotional pain. I turned to masturbation to feel good. Over time, I would fat faster and have less patience when viewing videos. I'd skip straight to the part where the girl has a screaming orgasm. That got old too, so I ended up looking at gay porn. I fucking ended up looking at gay porn. Like, what the fuck? I'm not even into that shit, but I did. I'll get into the dopamine reward system in a minute. So I started looking up gay porn for the first time in my life. I had no interest in it whatsoever. But there I fucking was. I... Oh. And don't even... Oh. Don't even get me started on bestiality. <laughs> so I still felt like crap, and I tried tons of things to feel good. I tried positive thinking, I tried running, I tried visiting an expensive psychiatrist, I tried web MDing my symptoms, I tried modafinil, I tried earthing, I tried fucking putting gemstones on my fucking wrist. You know, fucking hippie gemstones. I thought ruby and topaz could fucking make my life better forever. I tried taking fish oil supplements, magnesium, vitamin D, I tried meditation, I read 134 books, the list fucking goes on. You fucking name it, I've tried it. Now, these either failed or only gave me a temporary high. I quickly returned to my baseline state of doom and gloom. So last year, I was on a Skype call with Rich from Improvement Pill. We were talking about self-development stuff and he glorified this thing called NoFap. I had no idea what it was. I watched his first ever video on the subject, but I, I didn't take much notice. But months later, he posted another NoFap video, which went on to get over half a million views. And that's when I thought, fucking hell, something's up here. There's got to be something about this NoFap thing. Why would half a million people watch it? And that video hit me like a fucking nuclear bomb. So the fundamental idea is that porn elevates your dopamine levels to extremely high levels, similar to that of cocaine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for that drive and that motivation, that desire you get to do things. But with porn, you maintain the dopamine high for much longer than anything else. 
Because you're getting an unnatural level of dopamine hits, your brain decreases the amount of receptors you have. The less receptors you have, the more dopamine you need to function like a happy, healthy human being should. That could be why you feel low all the time, you don't feel motivated, just like I was feeling. So on the 24th of November 2016, I committed to the No Fat For 90 challenge. I would quit masturbation and porn for 90 days straight. This is what some no fappers call a reboot. The first week was easy, but around day 10, I got a rush of sexual energy surge throughout my body. My eyes fixated on a, a, an attractive girl nearby in the internet cafe uh, I was working at, and that doesn't normally happen. So I thought, okay, uh, maybe that would have happened anyway, even if I wasn't doing no fat. So on I went, and it got to day 15, and I had a fucking drastic energy surge. Fucking drastic. I put on some dope beats and danced around in my apartment. I was chock full of confidence, motivation, and drive. But one funny thing I noticed, even after the energy surge subsided, was that music was more pleasurable. Okay? I repeat, music was more pleasurable. It didn't necessarily sound better, but I just derived more pleasure from it. So again, I thought, maybe I'm just having a good day. Whatever. So a month passed, and I didn't think much of NoFap until day 45 came around. Over the course of five days between day 45 and day 50, something fucking snapped for me. Something snapped. Something snapped. It felt amazing. I felt amazing. My baseline level of well-being lifted. It was like evolving from a boring ass metapod into a Butterfree. And the best part, I felt like Butterfree ever since. Fast forward to around day 69, and this is where I experienced a huge improvement in my sex life. My performance anxiety had nearly vanished, which had been plaguing me for over a year. I would fidget, my heart rate would climb, and sometimes I'd make excuses to avoid initiating sex if I knew it was my turn to be in charge. Now being in charge didn't come natural to me. Dirty talk didn't come natural to me. But because my baseline well-being and confidence had risen from no fat, my anxieties pretty much vanished. Who cares if I didn't perform well, being in charge takes practice. Dirty talk takes practice. Sex in general takes practice. And maybe it takes no fat. Enjoy it for what it is. I would also get erections at inconvenient times. You know like when you randomly got one in class at school and carried your books to hide it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Don't get a boner! Don't get a boner! No 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 no! After I came back from my trip in Thailand, my girlfriend would constantly laugh and tell me I had to stop getting a boner because it was constantly in the way. This was while we were trying to cuddle and be comfortable and just enjoy a movie together. Lastly, I experienced the most powerful full body orgasm in my whole life. Words cannot describe it. Every chemical known to man surged through my body. I slept for the next 30 minutes because I felt so drained. I never got a feeling this intense before NoFap. I've now passed the day 90 mark and I've sustained every single benefit I've just shared with you. This isn't some short-lived bullshit like having a hit of nicotine or marijuana. I feel on point every single day without having to take drugs or read self-help books. But yes, I do still experience sadness, but that's kind of the point. Before no fat, I felt like an emotionless zombie. It sucked. Now I feel emotion more strongly. I can get genuinely excited about things, I laugh more often, and think more positive thoughts on a daily basis. My baseline well-being is just fucking on point. So if you constantly feel low and cannot go seven days without fapping, then I urge you, I fucking urge you to try the No Fat 490 challenge. Think about it. There's literally zero downside. Some skeptics might say, ah, you'll increase your risk of prostate cancer and masturbation is natural. It's a tool for self-discovery. Well, fair points. Fair points, my friends. But in my mind, if you fap irregularly and feel low every day, then you're paying a huge price by not at least trying it, man. Like fucking hell. The average human lifespan is 79 years. If you're 20 years old now and don't fat for 90 days, that's just 0.4% of the time you have left on Earth. 0.4% for all these potential fucking benefits. And if for some reason it doesn't work for you, then great. You've trained your willpower muscle anyway, and now you know something that doesn't work for you, so you can go on and try new things. But if this does work for you, then congratulations. You've just made one of the biggest changes you can make that will affect the rest of your life. 
a dopamine reward system that functions like a normal one should. Oh, bless you. Subscribe to my channel, buy my shit, join my book club, <laughs> and join our Facebook group, the No Fat for 90 Facebook group. It's a support group for those willing to take on the 90 days and make a big fucking change in their life. Get around there. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Okay, now I believe we can get this baby to 100,000 views. I fully believe that. If we all take part, drop a comment below and share this video, we can get this message out to 100,000 people. Let's do it.